The Lexus LX, Japanese, LX, Hepburn, Rikusasu LX, is a full-size luxury SUV sold by Lexus, a luxury division of Toyota since January 1996, having entered manufacturing in November 1995. It is Lexus' largest and most expensive luxury SUV. For generations have been produced, all based heavily on the long-running Toyota Land Cruiser SUVs. The first-generation LX450 started production in 1995 as Lexus' first entry into the SUV market. Its successor, the LX470, premiered in 1998 and was manufactured until 2007. The third-generation LX debuted at the New York International Auto Show in April 2007. The fourth-generation LX debuted in October 2021. The first-generation LX450 had a straight-six engine and seats for seven passengers. The second and third generations had a V8 engine powertrain, a welded steel body shell combined with full-size steel ladder frame, body-on-frame construction, and seats for eight passengers. The fourth-generation model has a twin-turbocharged V6 engine powertrain and seats for seven passengers as standard and four passengers as an option. The second-generation LX470 shared exterior styling with the Japanese domestic market Land Cruiser Cygnus. According to Lexus, the LX name stands for Luxury Crossover.2, however, some Lexus importers use the backronymic name Luxury 4-Wheel Drive.3, rapidly developed in the mid-1990s as a result of threatening U.S. trade sanctions on Japanese luxury cars. The LX450 started production in November 1995, 4, and was released to the U.S. in January 1996 as a 1996 model. Canada received the LX from 1997. The LX450 was Lexus's first SUV and was almost entirely based on the sixth-generation Toyota Land Cruiser, J80. Differences lay in a restyled, more luxurious interior and softer suspension settings. The first LX450 rolled off the production line in December 1995, 5. The LX450 was powered by a 4.5-liter, twin-cam, four-valve inline-six engine that produced 160 kilowatts, 215 horsepower, and 373 Nm, 275 lbft, of torque. Both front and rear axles were solid. Externally, the LX450 was identical to the J80 series Land Cruiser, with the exception of the grille, side body cladding, and wheels, 5, side running boards give step-up access, 5, the vehicle had additional sound-absorbing insulation, 5. Amenities included leather seats and seating for seven passengers in three rows, 5. The third row accessed by tilting the second row bench seat forward. The third row could be folded to the side and the second row folded down for further space, 5. The vehicle was pre-wired for the Lexus remote telephone system and had a remote entry key system, 5. The three options consisted of a console-mounted six-disc CD changer, electronic front and rear locking differentials, and a power moonroof, 5. At the time of its sales debut in early 1996, the LX450 was listed in the U.S. at a suggested base price of $47,995, 5, an approximately $7,000 premium over the Land Cruiser, with a base price of $40,678 in 1996, 5, but a similarly optioned Land Cruiser would cost $46,968, 6. Targeted against luxury SUV competitors such as Range Rover, the LX450 sold over 5,000 units in 1996 and over 9,000 units in 1997. At its launch it sold out its initial production allocation, resulting in a two-month wait list, surpassing initial expectations which had called for 4,000 units that year. 5. It was brought to market as U.S. buyers showed greater interest in large SUVs, which had grown popular because of their high driver's vantage point and truck-like characteristics. 5. Lexus customer research revealed that one in six owners were purchasing large SUVs to add to their garages. 5. 
an additional factor was the U.S. Japan trade war of the mid-1990s. The U.S. government threatened to place 100% tariffs on all Japanese luxury import cars, but not including SUVs. The LX450 was produced as a rebadged model, in contrast with other Lexus efforts which were independently or divergently developed from Toyota vehicles, giving a model that was exempt from the tariff. 7. Ultimately a gentleman's agreement was reached and the threatened tariffs did not materialize. The LX450 replaced the Land Cruiser in the Canadian market starting after 1996, reducing internal competition, big expensive SUVs have traditionally faced a difficult market in Canada, and avoiding the issue of selling a rebadged model, except for GM, Ford and Chrysler, rebadged models in Canada have not met with success. For a 5,000 pounds, 2,300 kilograms vehicle, the LX450 was regarded by some critics as underpowered, 8, leading to the shortening of its model cycle, despite sales increases, and replacement with a V8-powered successor. The LX450 was the top-ranked full-size SUV in JD Power & Associates' initial quality survey, with the lowest number of problems during the first three months of ownership point 1998-2002. In the mid-1990s, work started on a Lexus variant of the Toyota Land Cruiser, J100, the LX, J100. The final design by Hiroya Kitazumi was approved in 1995, with updates by Kitazumi approved in 2001 and 2004, 9, 10, Testing was conducted from the mid-1990s till late 1997. In December 1997, the second-generation LX470 debuted at the Los Angeles Auto Show, going on sale in the second quarter of 1998. It shared the floor pan and most body panels with the equivalent Land Cruiser, and differed in its front appearance and had a more luxurious interior. Exterior design differences included a quad headlamp forward fascia with larger grille and different wheels. It was powered by a LEV certified 4.7-liter V8 engine, which initially produced 172 kilowatts, 230 horsepower, later upgraded to 175 kilowatts, 235 horsepower, then 200 kilowatts, 268 horsepower. The final torque value was 445 Nm. 328 lbft. It was rated to tow 2,900 kilograms, 6,500 pounds, with the tow package installed, the front gained independent suspension, and the optional electronic locking front and rear differentials were dropped, although the rear locking differential was still available in Canada in 1998 to 1999. Suspension included adjustable height control, AHC, Hydraulic Suspension and Adaptive Variable Suspension, AVS. The AHC could raise the vehicle for off-roading and return to a normal driving height reducing the center of gravity and wind resistance. The lowest setting for when the vehicle was stopped allowed for easier entry, exit and loading. AVS alters shock absorber firmness in under 2.5 milliseconds at each wheel, individually selecting from a range of 64 settings depending on road conditions and driver input such as steering wheel activity, braking and acceleration. The AVS system used a switch for the driver's preferences including normal, comfort, and sport modes. Nakamichi stereo with in-dash 6-disc CD changer was optional from 1998 and became standard in 2000. A DVD-based navigation system was offered starting in 2001 with the brand new standard Mark Levinson sound system. The navigation system would become standard from 2002. Electrochromic power folding side mirrors and a smog sensor for the HVAC system were offered. 11. For 2000 models, vehicle stability control and brake assist were made standard, along with Toyota's new A-Track active traction control system. 2002-2005. During 2002 for the 2003 model year, Lexus introduced minor tweaks to the exterior, a 5-speed transmission, citation needed, including larger standard 18-inch wheels, a new front bumper, etc. The interior was substantially overhauled, 
adopting the corresponding updates to the Land Cruiser's interior, and with Bluetooth and a backup camera now available. In the US, both were optional with the camera coupled with the navigation system, due to the shared screen. Lexus increased power from 172 kilowatts, 230 horsepower, to 175 kilowatts, 235 horsepower. The updated engine now met carb ULF2 emission standards. Lexus added front row side torso airbags and side curtain airbags, electronic brake force distribution and rain sensing windshield wipers as standard. An 11-speaker Mark Levinson Premium sound system and a DVD rear seat entertainment system, RCS, were made optional. Other new features included Lexus Link, an emergency service similar to GM's OnStar, in North America. The Night View Infrared Camera Safety System was offered as an option in 2002, projecting information on the windshield using a head-up display, the driver could vary brightness using a dimmer knob. The 2003 LX470 came with variable gear ratio steering VGRS, system, varying steering ratios from 12.4 to 1 to 18.0 to 1, previously fixed at 19.8 to 1, allowing the driver to apply less steering input to maneuver in tight places such as parking lots. By changing the ratio on the highway, minor adjustments made by the driver would not create excessive vehicular movement.